This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Good morning, everyone. We encounter a very interesting phenomenon. We have three parshios in a row that all have the letter Kuf, and they all have three letters. Kairach, Chukas, Balak. Haloi Dovarhu. What's the significance of this? They, each parsha has only three letters, and each parsha has a Kuf. The only thing is, is in Kairach, the Kuf is in the beginning, and Chukas, it's in the middle, and in Balak, it's in the end. What's the significance? The Maral explains, it's quoted in the Sefer, Lach Zos Benayim Hashem, the letter Kuf represents Kedusha. So Kairach started off as a holy man. He was an Ish Kadosh in the beginning, and then he became corrupt. Therefore his Kuf, his Kedusha, was in the beginning. But later on, he went sour. Chukas speaks about the Tahara of the Paraduma. Now the person starts off Tame. So the beginning is Tama. Then he becomes Tar through the ashes of the Paraduma, so the Kedusha is in the middle. And then those who are engaged with the Para become Tame themselves, and therefore there is not Kedusha in the end. That's why in Chukas, the Kuf is in the middle. But in Balak, the Kedusha is in the end. Because Balak was a Rasha. He was a bad guy. He, tried to, he hired Bilam to curse Klal Yisrael. So he has no Kedusha. But in the end of Balak, who came out of Balak? Rus, so his end in fact was Kuf, his end was Kedusha, and therefore the Kuf is in the end. So Kairach, his Kedusha was in the beginning. Parshas Chukas, the Tara of the Paraduma, is in the middle. And Balak, Rus Hamoyavia, was in his end. Wishing everyone a great day, from beginning to middle to end. You've just experienced another Torah class, brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.